minutes as he's nice. Your yeah. hand is very warm. Mine, it's mine warm. is cold. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. uh, <laughs> so kind, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I like. I don't really check the news that often. Mm -hmm. I get quite affected by all the negativity. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, like a lot of it's popped up on my mm. social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, difficult because it's, it's, it's sides are so divided. Yeah. You know, you I mean, I mean, if, if life, I mean, I know which ones to believe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. Deep down, we all know what is truth, right? Yeah, we all And that's why I think that 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 guilt actually led you take out of your home to join the protest. Yeah. That guilt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and we believe, as a Muslim, I believe that that is a guilt. God has told us that guilt called nafsul lawama the guilty consciousness. Yeah. So we have type of guilt within us. When we do something wrong, or yeah. when you feel something wrong, we try to recover it back. Yeah. And these are the sign of a good heart. Yeah. And that shows you have a good heart. Oh, my thank friend. you very much. For <laughs> you, too. you have a good. Yeah. You have, a good, you have a lovely smile. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and I appreciate that. But, sorry, what's your name? What did you say? Harold. Harold. Aziz. Yeah. Harold. Harold. So what I'm sharing here is the share the message of Islam. Have anybody told you about the message of Islam? Uh, no, I mean, I just kind of, yeah. I see wrongdoing when I see yes, it. Yes, yeah. 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 It's, but it's, but it's, do you say you are a person of fairness? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person, I'm yeah. a person of fairness, I would say, yeah. yeah. So in Islam, we believe we have an ultimate maker, Allah, the creator. Yeah. And Allah defined himself, he's not a man, he's not a statue, he's not a stone. He is, he is unlike the creation. Yeah. And he is not like, a, when we say he, it doesn't mean that he's a man or a woman. He's unlike the creation. Yeah. And then God said he created humanity for a, for a purpose. And the purpose is to acknowledge God and worship God. Yeah. And, and establish fairness to the land in our best abilities. Yeah. Right? And establishing fairness would be applying justice, ethics, and morality. Yeah. Now these three words, ethics, justice and morality that cannot be derived from human mind yeah because we human mind we have double standard sometimes we feel sympathize for someone who is close to me but we don't do for someone else yeah but if you do for both of them that shows sincerity yeah so god tell us there's one of the verse in the quran i was this is a verse of experimentation yeah. and i want everyone to have their say on this verse okay. and what do you say, Harold, on this? This is on chapter 4, verse 135, yeah? That's that. Uh, I want you to read, and what do you think about it? Yeah. No, I believe, yeah. Totally agree. I mean, you don't have to believe in God to agree with that. No, yeah. but then yeah, again, yeah. look, the problem is, the problem is the, the, the social media, the politician, they're defining their wrong ethical standard. The, they are saying someone is oppressed who's not oppressed. So yeah. they are lying, they're deceiving. So therefore, it, we need God's message. Why? Why? So for that justice. We, yeah. for justice. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, the model people are applying, it is the model given by the politician. Yeah. And can we really trust our politician deep down? No. No. Now, why not? No. Because they don't speak the truth. Yeah, they're not. They in, deceive us. They're, they're just, they're in it for power. Yes, exactly. So, look, really the good and bad are not equal, Harold. Yeah, yeah. You are a good person. Thank someone who, who stabs someone. Yeah. I cannot equate with you with the one who is stabbing someone. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that should be reward for you and punishment for him. Yeah. So therefore Islam in Allah tells us that there will be a life after this life is not finished in the death. Yeah. Death and then there will be another life and Allah will bring justice. Means the, uh, the day of judgment will happen okay. and Allah will bring resurrect everyone yeah. and Allah will question everyone okay. about. Do you believe that? What's, what's your take? Uh, I don't personally believe that, but if it is true, I, I think I'd, I'd be in a good position to get judged pretty fairly. Yeah. You know? Like, for example... Uh, I meditate twice a day, mm -hmm. but just the Indian uh, Vedic meditation, mm -hmm. I don't believe in a 
I believe in energy. Yeah. I believe we're all connected uh -huh. somehow. I don't believe in a in a physical God. Yeah. Um, but I believe if you do good things and you live in a good, righteous way, then the, the world will reward you back. Yeah. In that way. It's you, similar things. You, you know. You know, yeah. you know what you said. Something interesting. You believe in energy. You believe in there is something, yeah. right? Because that something, do you believe that is all powerful? Uh, yeah, I mean, because we see the demonstration of the power, the yeah, star, I the mean, galaxy. I, I only ever believe things based on personal experience, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I don't know, all powerful, uh, omniscient for sure. Uh, is that all, all around? Yeah, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so... Anyway, I've got to head off my friend. It's very nice. Let, let me give you a copy of the Quran. Okay. Yeah, because... Have a look into Islam. Because Islam has... Thank you very much. Some, and I'll, I'll give you the, no, no, uh, a small sure. booklet here. Yeah? Because this. Islam has, you know, a lot of compelling proof and evidences why this religion is true. Yeah. My question is, as a sensible human mind, we, would sh we should not just accept it without evaluating it. Yeah. And... I agree. Yeah, so I would say, look into... Um, no, sure. Look into why, why, why Islam is fastest growing religion on the planet. Why, why people are accepting Islam. All right. What led them to come to Islam? And is there any compelling evidence and proofs? Okay. Now we have two layers of proofs. One, la two layers of proof. Two okay. layers. One layer of proof is through intellectual faculties. Yeah. And another uh, proof is through miracles and prophet's testimony. When I say intellectual proof, I'm going to give you one. Yeah. And I want you to think because okay. I don't want to give you too much. So those people who believe, have said, I disbelieve in God. Yeah. And I disbelieve in the resurrection. Yeah. Allah given many uh, rational logic for them to think on what they have said. Yeah. Allah said, those who disbelieve in God, Allah saying, can, can you create something from nothing? No, I know that argument. No, right? no, I, that's, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So by default, there must be something. In the yeah, there must be, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. That's why I believe in something. I believe yeah. that's true. Now that, now that, yeah, yeah. that actually didn't stop it there. It so actually didn't stop it there. Okay. Then when we find something, then we define what is that something. Yeah. Then we look at the creation itself, yeah. and when we say, okay, that being must be all powerful because that we see the demonstration of power. Yeah. When we see the design, a design cannot come from who don't have the design. Yeah. So we call it Allah al Musawwir, the one who fashioned the shaper, the yeah, designer. Yeah. And now, if you apply those uh, uh, rational faculties and falsification, you will come to believe the God of Islam yeah. because it suits your intellectual faculties. No, no, I, I'm familiar with that argument. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so now, There's a similar one in now if, if, we Islam, if you come to an Islamic God, then yeah. would you not accept the second premise that God would, uh, do you think God would leave you without a purpose? And then the purpose of the messenger and the prophets come because they come and show perform miracle. When Moses parted the sea, when Jesus healed the leper, cured the blind, yeah. and all the prophets and messengers have unique trait, something they showed it to their community so that the community can accept them. They are indeed from God. Yeah. And then they are claim their miracle has been supported by their great character. They are not, these guys are the best people w w was living on the planet. Yeah. In terms of Prophet Muhammad was known as Al-Amin and As-Sadiq, the trustworthy and most truthful person. And he performed many miracles. God said one of the great miracles is the Quran. Yeah. And you know the challenges of the Quran. The challenges, no. Yeah. Allah said that if you think this book is other than God, then you'll be able to produce a chapter like it. Other than God? What other, meaning uh, Allah is simply telling oh, okay. that this book is from God. Oh, okay. Okay. If you think it's not from God, well, you can you can read. write write yeah, it, yeah. Okay. but why cannot write or can you produce a chapter like it? So this is many okay. challenges out of many challenges. This is yeah. an objective challenge, by the way. And the linguistic grammarian they looked into it. Okay. And then even in the AI tools, you can look it up. Even the AI tools, 
yeah. artificial intelligence also confirmed that it cannot be producible. Yeah. Then how come Prophet Muhammad, yeah. peace be upon him, he produced something like it, 114 chapter, and we I could know. not even imitate one chapter. I know, it's crazy. So that shows we have the, the veracity of Islamic claim, yeah. and at the same time, he's truthful. Okay. A liar who don't uh, 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 lie about Allah. Just imagine, Harold. Yeah. If, last point, just really one. Go now. Okay. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, yeah, yeah. I want you to think hold at that point. Okay. If a man never lied in his entire life, do you think the same man would lie about God? If a man never lied, lied about, in, in his lie entire about life. life. Yeah, would he lie about God? God. Uh, no, but he might have mistaken it for something else. And that is your... That's what I said. <laughs> that's, that is the answer here. Yeah? Here. This is the, the same proposition they asked that question because they failed on the test, testing him to, on the truthfulness category. Then yeah. they ask this question. By the star when they fade away, your fellow man is neither misguided nor astray. Yeah. <coughs> Allah said, "One najmi is a hawa, ma walla swahibukum wa ma gawa." He is not. People think, oh, he may be uh, deluded. Yeah. And Allah confirmed he is not deluded. Okay. And then not Allah stopped here. Allah said, "Wa ma yantiqo anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha." Nor does he speak of his own whims. It is only a revelation sent down to him. Harold, think about it. Lot, yeah, yeah, lot yeah. to think about. Okay. What's your name again? Aziz. Friend? Aziz, lovely yeah. to meet you. You can watch it on Dawah to Soul. Okay, great. What's it on? Art and Soul. Uh, Dawah to Soul. Okay, great. Harold, it was nice talking to you. Nice think, to you think about the message. Look after yourself. Pleasure. Uh, may Allah accept him. Uh, may Allah guide him to Islam. Gerald, nice man, Englishman, never been to the protest before. But he came out, out of the guilt that he is having, that what, what's going on in Palestine is not justice, it's not fair. And the brutality, the occupation, what's happening in Palestine is, is, is too painful for everyone to see. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide him to Islam. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.